안녕하세요 저는 오키입니다 and welcome to today's video where we are going to be basically doing a very different type of video today uh, Today for the very first time we are going to in fact be doing a Duolingo course and today we're going to find out just how good or bad my Korean really is I've learned Korean for probably the better part of five almost six years now I first started learning it uh, when I was in university but um, I feel like I didn't really learn it necessarily well, if that makes sense. I've been self-studying uh, for quite a few years and really it kind of got to a point where um, I didn't necessarily have the time to study anymore. And as a result, like, yeah, I know Korean. I know how to speak Korean. My partner is Korean. We speak it sometimes, but um, not really because, you know, at the same time, she is, she is extremely fluent in English. So we just don't need to use it here in Australia because we both live here. Now, that being said, uh, this is something that I've wanted to do for quite a while and naturally I figured that there's probably a lot of you guys who want to know uh, how to speak Korean as well too and what better a way would be to go ahead and do these types of streams together. Now we will be obviously doing them over here on Twitch and we'll be posting them in a playlist over here on YouTube uh, so obviously I hope that you guys can uh, get excited for that but we're here, we've got the opportunity to choose our path, learning Korean for the first time, start from scratch or already know some Korean, check your level here. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm really, <laughs> I'm feeling kind of, kind of confident, kind of smart. So let's go ahead and check it. Now, Duolingo is the world's largest community of language learners. Let's assess your level, start the test. I can guarantee you I will make mistakes and I am ousting myself right here. Anyway, select the correct characters for Sa. Sa. Hangu. Let's go. Seoul. So we've got Seul, Saon, Seoul, Seol. Seoul. Seoul. Yup. Shimun. Shimun. Newspaper. GG. Also, why is this so loud? You're doing great. Thanks, bro. The donuts flavor. Tonote mat. Tonote mat. Tonote mat. Yongwanen jemi ismida. Yongwanen jemi ismida. Jemi ismida. The movie is interesting. Right. British people like tea. Indeed, they do. Like, the, the cat eats bananas? Okay. The cat, the cat eats a banana. Yeah. Let's learn a language. Let's go. Nice, you'll be able to skip some beginner concepts. We send the woman an invitation and a thank you note. Here's the problem. When we start talking about vocabulary, this is, I feel like, my main problem. I feel grammar I'm confident with because grammar is really just kind of like learning the rules. But vocabulary, if you don't study vocabulary every single day, if you don't cram words into your head and use them in sentences, you lose them. So. 우리는 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 여자에게 여자에게 초대장하고 초대장하고 and a thank you note 감사장을 감사장을 보냅니다 보냅니다 yeah so 초대 to 초대 like 초대하다 is like to invite 장 is like paper so like a note right so 초대장 that's just an educated guess if you asked me what invitation is off the top of my head I would not say 초대장 I'd be like I don't know. So contextually, I am helping myself out here because of the fact that I know part of the language. But if you straight up ask me, yo, what's invitation right now? Or what's thank you note? I'd be like, uh, I don't know. But you know, when you see it, you go, oh, okay. I've seen this word before. Oh, I've, I'm familiar with this word. I recognize this. So, you know, recall is a really important part of language. The hamster enjoys the parrot's story. Oh my God. So, se, this has to be parrot, right? Because that's a bird. Hamsternen. Hamsternen. <laughs> 앵무새의 이야기를. 앵무새의 이야기를. 즐겨요. 즐겨요. So, story. Hamster, parrots, story, enjoys. Mm. The woman's spoon and chopsticks are on the left. 여자의. 여자의. 수저는. No. 수저는 왼쪽에 왼쪽에 있어요. 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 
Leave the house now. <laughs> Escalator. 집을 집을 지금 나가세요. 지금 나가세요. See why? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, dude. He was like, "Why are you so mad at me for that?" <laughs> He's so pissed. He's like, "Pissed on the It's crazy. 지금 집을 나가세요. 집을 지금 나가세요. I mean, that's an emphasis thing. In Korean, one thing that's interesting is emphasis, right? So 지금, like right now, I guess the emphasis here is on now. So now, leave the house. Not the house, leave now. You know what I mean? Like if you're like thinking about like shouting it per se. 절대로 밤을 나가지 마세요. So don't ever leave your room or never leave the classroom. Damn, never leave the room. 방을 yeah, pun. Never leave the room. See, I thought he was confused. I thought he was like, mm -mm, no, that's kind of crazy, bro. Pork 그리고 숟가락. Huh? 이 사과는 빨간색입니다. This apple is red. <laughs> Interesting, indeed. Why, bro? Look at her right now. She's just. Why are you so angry? Relax. Like, 그 나방은 빨간색이에요. 그 나방? The fuck is 나방? What is 나방? One eternity later. That... It's not rabbit. Moth? What is moth? This is toki. It's not whale. Donkey? No. Birds? No. Moth is red. That's a guess. That's a guess. That is straight up a guess. 69. Why that number specifically? That's my question. <laughs> Why that number? Of all numbers you could have given, why that number? <laughs> All right, did we pass basic Korean? Where did we get to? Hello? Okay, you jumped ahead to unit 19. You're a star student. Is 19 good? Ooh, okay, damn. Oi, what? Oi, we... Okay? Okay? Low-key better than I thought. Fight, how many units are there? 21, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 19 out of... 61. <laughs> 19 out of 61. <laughs> Jump here. 몇 시에요 means what time is it? Of course. Let's try this. Pass the test to jump ahead. We won't make it easy for you though. All right, how do you say? How do you say mother, 어머니? 어머니, 아버지, 그리고 딸. Are you serious? Like father and daughter? Are, Are you serious? Grade? 성적? 성적. 새 음반이 나왔어요. 새 음반이 나와, 나왔어요. A new album came out. I, I ain't gonna say shit yet. What the fuck? How do you say for a long time? 오랫동안. 오랫동안. 초등학생, 중학생, 고등학생. Are we serious, bro? 담임 선생님은 학급 명부를 읽어요. 담임 선생님? Uh. Why did I put you there? Why did I put you there? Why did I click you? Why did I click you? Is it not the same thing? Is it not the same thing? The... Yeah, whatever. 독수리들은 행복합니까? 독수리들은 행복합니까? 
독수리? 아, I'm lost. Help. <웃음> Are the eagles happy? I don't know. Are they? <웃음> 이 직업에? 이 직업에? 월급은? 월급은? 얼마입니까? 얼마입니까? 음. 건축가가 평일에 근무해요. Help times two. That's crazy. 근무해요? Like, what's the difference between 근무하다 and 일하다? Like, this is, you know, this is the thing. There's things I don't know. Help. One more mistake and it's over. Oh my god. Hello? K-pop idol groups are doing a lot of work. K-pop idol groups. Idol, yes. Idol groups practice a lot. Mm. I did we get level 57? We probably didn't. Oh, I unlocked unit 57. Oh, fuck, what? Okay, shit, damn. Okay, let's try. Let's try, let's try, let's try. Let's try again. Let's go unit, 60, unit 61. Let's see if we can make it all the way to the end. I don't think we will, though. 화장실은 어디에 있나요? Means, where's the bathroom? True. This year, 올해. 올해? Harry Potter는 마법을 부릴 줄 알아요. All right, Harry Potter knows how to use magic. Harry Potter knows how to use magic. Dunung. See. Haru. Obviously. Haru. Obviously, I know enough Korean to like form sentences and talk and like have conversations. But I'm telling you right now, bro. I straight up, there's some of the easiest shit that I just do not know how to say. I already forgot how to say eagles. Hence, why we will do this series. This series is going to be important for this reason specifically. I'm gonna go three days. Three days at the hotel. See, that's just a guess. I should know that. 가람은 핸드를 왼쪽으로 돌렸어요. Bottom turned the wheel to the left. Why didn't I see steering? <laughs> Why didn't I see steering? Oh, <laughs> they're the same thing. Because in English, we just say the wheel, like the steering wheel. One life left. Fuck, we skating on thin ice, man. You're halfway there. I believe in you. Appreciate you, Joy. 15세 미만의 학생. Oh, we have one more life. We have one more life. 제 애완 동물은 강아지예요. 동물 애완 애완 동물은 강아지예요. My household pet is a dog. It has become clear that unfortunately, uh, yeah, look, we couldn't unlock unit 61, which means uh, that we've obviously got a long way to go. Now, uh, like I said, I do just want to use this as an opportunity to uh, kind of introduce um, our next series to you guys. And uh, basically, like I was saying earlier, this is basically just going to be a way for me to uh learn korean with you guys and study it a little bit better now i think just in general there is a lot for me uh obviously to continue with but we will be starting from the very basics and of course as mundane as that sounds for me a lot of people might be like well look obviously you don't need to start with the basics you can speak you can do all of this type of stuff now i think it is really important to start from the basics purely just because Sometimes there's things you miss. Um, obviously, going over the fundamentals never hurts. And I mean, sometimes, I mean, you can get carried away with certain things, or sometimes you can have bad habits that you never realized that you necessarily had. And I think that uh, it's a good way to be able to kind of counter them, you know, to like um, make up for them and overcome bad habits and just kind of learn and refresh your mind on things along the way. And uh, I don't really know what form these videos are going to take or like, 
how they're going to look or you know what you know things are really going to look like just in general but i really hope that uh you guys can come and join the ride you know obviously sit around and uh learn with me if you do happen to be a korean speaker yourself if you do happen to be a korean yourself i don't know maybe this might be interesting to watch a bunch of foreigners absolutely uh just try and like blindly feel their way through korean uh and just learning the language i don't know but i really just want to say thank you as always for tuning in i uh have a lot of course to share with you guys regarding this and this is something that i wanted to do for quite a while i just think uh that doing it with stream is definitely going to give me a different type of motivation and uh i think that motivation and habits good habits especially are the main things that you really need when you're learning a language if you don't have a motivation if you don't have habits uh that are tangible to that motivation and those goals then you're never going to achieve anything or get anywhere and i think that that is exactly what this is going to be for so full vods of these lessons uh that we wind up going through will be posted over on patreon we won't be doing them through um you know like we won't be doing them through duolingo this is just a test uh to kind of like you know make it fun with you guys but um we won't be going through duolingo we'll actually be learning from some real korean sources i.e textbooks books uh webtoons we might even utilize those as well too and we're just going to try and be creative with it so of course hope that hopefully you guys can look forward to that type of stuff too but lots of good things coming and i really hope that you stick around and enjoy it and subscribe of course if you like the content but thank you so much for tuning in as always love and appreciate you guys and i'll see you in the next one cheers